morning sunshine. Oh, gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All righty, it is 10, 11 a.m. and we are headed to the market. That's what I know it's called. And that's where we're gonna go. And we're gonna get a little shopping in done this morning, just looking around, and, you know, in the little shops and stuff like that. And uh, we may get in the pool today. We may hold off and do that in the morning and more tomorrow because literally it is packed. THML brand again. I think I really like that brand. Oh, it's so pretty. It's gorgeous. This is a fun little store. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. See you in a minute. That little shop, that little store was dangerous and a lot of fun. So now we've come to the next one. We've come more into the little downtown area. So we got a coffee bar over there. I think we're going to some place called Southern Bell or something. Look how cute this is. It's like the town square is right there. Please use the other entrance. I don't know if these stores are open yet, but wow, they have some pretty stuff in them. Oh, open, yeah. Wow, look at this store. Another one that's gonna be so dangerous. Oh, those are so cute. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Robert, are you sure you want to take me in here? <gasps> Look at that. Yeah, he, he doesn't mind because he knows that's out of our budget. So, <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. Okay, you guys, I may feel weird about the camera in here. So we'll see. Oh, do they? They got lots of coffee mugs over here. I need coffee, y'all. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at the doggy plate. Oh, these are gorgeous. Wow. Oh. Okay, that's my style. That right there. Mm, no, actually the ones over on the other side are more my style. This is a fancy store, honey. Please ask for assistance. Pampa Bay. I'm sure a lot of y'all have heard of that. I have not. I've got a death grip on my purse so that I don't swing it into something. Oh, oh so pretty. Mm. It's pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, look, glamorous wash. Um, if you want to know, my favorite is Icon. I know everybody loves high maintenance and Diva, but Icon is actually my favorite. And these candles are fantastic. The throw is amazing. We picked some up when we were in um, New Braunfels. Let me smell that one. That smells funny. Yeah. Isn't it New Braunfels? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, people had an absolute conniption fit because I mispronounced it. <laughs> it's a word, people. It's okay. Do you like that one? Oh, that's nice. What is that? Cinnamon. Oh, bun. might have to get Some cinnamon. Buns. Might have to get that one. Oh, here's a big one. The big ones are the good one. Look at that. Oh my goodness. They have the room sprays. Oh, look at the cute. Everything is so cute. What'd you find, Robert? Oh, look at those sunglasses. Those are cute. We're gonna have to try those on. Oh, again, hold the purse. Hold the purse. <gasps> Christmas is coming. The goose is getting fat. Please don't put a penny in the old man's hat. Oh, so pretty. Oh, so pretty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, the dog bowl. Oh. Pineapple in the lighthouse for Dave and Brandy. That one. Oh, is that Re? 
I think that's Ree. Oh yeah, Ree Drummond says at the top. Okay. You guys have been following Ree since well before she was famous. I met her at a book signing on like her first or second book. I think it was her first book. Yeah. Yeah. Robert took me. She was in Houston. It's me. It seriously is me. <gasps> oh. Look at this, honey. Oh, those are cool. I have to look at that. Unconditional love spoke in here. You got that right. I'm gonna get myself out of trouble and go check out and get out of this store. <laughs> you guys can see Robert loves candles as much as I do. We like home scents because we have pets. Well, I missed it, the engines, but look, there's a train running right through the middle of town. I love that. I love that. Y'all, they were so nice in there. So nice. We were chit chatting about dogs and cows and cats and all sorts of things. Well, that was fun. Robert kept showing me cookbook after cookbook after cookbook. <laughs> so let me show you what I got. Cute little town in here. Oh, there's towns like a town square right there. Prairie switch right off the train track. So we got two candles that um, we got like the cinnamon one and the, what was it? Oh, warm, warm sugar cookie. Yeah. Warm cookie, something like that. And then we got this. So 100 best quick gluten-free recipes. So a lot of these you can kind of modify, um, but a lot of them also are like sorghum blends. So a lot of these are already grain-free. So that's really nice. Um, and I like that. I like the a lot of the blends in here. So even if they use uh, flours, gluten-free flours, it's flours I can handle a little bit easier than rice flour, corn flour. So anyway, this is a really good one. So we'll be kind of playing around with this a little bit. And this is the best one. <laughs> I'm very excited about this. 75 plus recipes for every craving from thin crust to deep dish New York to Naples. I love in Naples. Anyway, so we're heading to HEB to all gluten-free pizza lovers who've been missing truly great pizza. Well, I have. Anyway, and we're gonna look in, into that pizza oven that uh, Robert showed you in like two blocks ago, three blocks ago. I don't know. Um, I'll link it right up there for you. So um, we're gonna look into getting that and uh, rotating pizza stones in it. That's one thing I need to double check if we can put pizza different pizza stones. And then, you know, it doesn't have to stay gluten free. So we can make him pizza and me pizza. All right, we're gonna go to HGB. So you can see this one's a little bit smaller than most HEBs, but it's still magnificent. All right, we're just kind of looking around. I don't have anything in particular that I need. What did you call that, Robert? The Stonehenge of El Campo. <laughs> Tractor tires. <laughs> That's funny. Just had a huge clap of thunder. Yeah, I see the rain out that way. Ooh. I hope it rains. That would be amazing. Just cutting up a jicama. Just starting up. Gonna have a little snack. And we're gonna go for a walk. And then we're going to see how busy the pool is and then probably go for a swim and Robert or maybe we'll see the weather <laughs> um, and uh, Robert's gonna pull out the Blackstone and we're gonna have sausage for dinner sausage onions peppers and um, I'll probably have an avocado and yeah so we'll see Robert got a large lemonade. Yeah, it's a fresh lemonade, freshly squeezed, and it's really kind of convenient. It's like when you're on the cruise ships, you don't have to have any cash with you. In fact, they don't take cash, but you just have your little wristband, like your ship's card, and uh, anything you need. No, thank you. Anything you need, anything, food, drink, the bar, all of it, is on your tab with your credit card on file here at the 
resort. It's really cool. I like that. Right. That's why I said it's your ship's card. I'm sorry it's cloudy. It's hot. And my phone, I think, is like dirty. I don't know. Anyway, you guys just really, there's so many people. So we'll get in. Just not right this minute. <laughs> We've embarrassed ourselves enough. <laughs> Improvement, you guys, if you want to sign up for lessons from us professional cornhole players, just comment below. Hey, they're all in the box. What's in the box, man? What's in the box? Oh, that terrible, terrible movie. Still have nightmares. What's that movie? Name that movie. We didn't want to be left out. Time to head to the pool. It is Sunday morning and a lot of people are packing up, getting the pool when people started heading out. Yep. So we're gonna try that today. Not nearly as crowded. Yeah, not nearly as crowded. So and it is Father's Day, so happy Father's Day to my sweet husband. Well, thank you very much. So let's head on to the pool. As you come into the pool area, they do inspect your bag to make sure that you don't have any drinks or things that you're not supposed to have with you. Here's our bag, and this is the cutest bag ever. I will leave it linked for you because I love it. Ooh, I'm excited. Very exciting. Here, put your, put our towels down. So we're gonna set up, we'll be right back. All right, Robert's coming to do the rope, rope swing. No, you will not see me doing that. And I likely won't do that slide either. It's very big. Maybe one of the baby slides. You're gonna do the Tarzan. Oh. Yeah, nice and deep right here. I love you. <laughs> I appreciate the tube sizes, small, medium, and large. And there's the little kids area, which again is not fully turned on right now, but I'm sure they're working on it. I left my phone case at home, both of them, so we're just using the old Ziploc method today, yep. or HEB lock. We are. Woo! 
Ooh, that was cold in that waterfall. <laughs> Here the jets push us along our way. Woo! <laughs> go up the water slide here and uh, give you a little first person view of it. You got the kids area over there. I'm pretty high up and here we go. Well, the pool was nice and refreshing, but I need a snack. Um, I had a light breakfast, I had some jicama and bacon for breakfast. So I am ready for a little snacky lunch type thing and then later we're gonna have a big dinner. But I picked these up, these are the, is that your son? Egg life, egg wraps from Aldi. I picked these up, so I'm just gonna warm one up, brown it up in a pan throw a little grated uh, cheddar cheese on it, roll it up and dip it in some Taco Bell hot sauce. Because these have become like my new favorite and I made that for dinner last night and it was so good. Monday when we get back home, we're going to Aldi so I can buy a few of them because I don't know if they're an in and out item. But I know you can get them other places, other brands. So I'll show you lunch when it's ready. So there you go. So here's the Taco Bell sauce, a little half an avocado and uh, pan fried with cheese. There's cheese in the middle and I just rolled them up. So delicious and I know this because I had this for dinner last night. So I can tell you I'm gonna be on a kick. It is time to install the take tank monitors on our propane tanks. So we're gonna do that very quickly. You know, all the YouTube channels say it's super easy. We shall see. All right, so here are the two monitors and um, this one, is tank number two. Tank number one is this one. It's all hooked up. He's gonna put the tanks, actually this one's empty and this one's halfway full. So let me show you. That, so that one's half full and that one's empty. So that's really nice. And this is what I wanted this for so that, you know, like I said, when we're cooking outside or something like that, then I know where we are as far as gas goes because, you know, if you're taking a shower, you don't want to run out of gas. So, there we go. Last Thursday, we had our travel trailer uh, washed and waxed. 
and the company we used was Texas Mobile RV Spa. It was Chris White and his wife came out and did a great job. This is not sponsored in any way. I just, when you see a small business, you want to say, and they do a good job, you just kind of want to shout them out. Yeah. They did a fantastic job. They're in Houston, Austin. Uh, we'll link them in the description block. Description box. <laughs> we'll link them in the description box below so you can check them out if you're in the Houston, Austin area yep. and need a wash and wax on your travel trailer. That's right. And um, we will be in Corpus Christi next, but the next time we're in Austin, a lot of RV parks will allow you to have your camper cleaned or you can clean, but you do have to ask when you're at an RV park because some don't allow you to do it. But um, that would be the best time, really, when you're out camping, you're out for the day, they come, they clean it, and they outside, the outside, not the inside. They make it look all sparkly, nice, and clean. So there you go. And it was Texas Mobile RV Spa, Chris yeah. White. Chris, and I'll put all the information down in the description box. They did a great job. Yep, yeah. and they were, oh, you know the best part. Communication. Not, yeah, not just that they did a great job, they were very, good at communicating that is so key sent me text messages hey we're leaving right now we should be there in 30 minutes which was 10 o'clock which was the time they were scheduled to meet us mm -hmm. and just, just and they even texted when they missed the turn which yes. is going to make them a minute late and they let us know yes so yeah and you don't have to be where you have water they brought they came to us with tanks on the back of their suv trailer, trailer. yeah so you don't have to have water so that's very nice so we're actually going to head back to the pool it's uh, four o'clock and we're still not hungry and it's hot and realistic i mean it's not hot in the camper but realistically all there is to do is sit around so we are going to go swim again and then we'll come back and hungry and fix some dinner but we're not going to take you with us to swim again because like you already saw that and there's nothing new to see so we'll see you in a minute i just wanted to show you guys very quickly how much this place has cleared out now if you'll recall from the very first video we made there were no open spots not very first video we made yeah there were like two or three open spots when we first arrived here but uh now there's many many open spots all righty it is time for dinner so we're just gonna have some sausage Peppers and onions, uh, you know, quick, simple, and easy on the Blackstone. All right, so I'm just gonna cook this, and uh, Robert's gonna have a sausage sandwich and um, some chips with pe peppers and onions. His is Italian sausage, mine is smoked sausage from the uh, meat market we went to and a couple of vlogs ago. Here's mine, and there's Robert from those brioche buns from Aldi. Yum, we're ready to eat. It's absolutely beautiful, the sunsets that we've been able to see here. Just such clear nights and just beautiful, beautiful sunsets. You guys know I absolutely love sunsets. I always vlog them on the ships. I just absolutely love them. So we're going to go for a little walk this evening. Yes, we are. Yeah. It's nice. Uh, in the evenings, the humidity seems to drop a little bit. I mean, it's still 90 degrees, but, um, you know, it's a beautiful night. And we've had a delicious dinner, so now it's time to move a little bit. Walk off those calories. <laughs> move a little bit and uh, then head into the camper, wash this layers upon layers of sunscreen off of my face and go to bed <laughs> and go to bed <laughs> oh my god look at the sun seriously that's like a postcard picture hi bunny hi bunny how are you you're so cute oh my goodness let's zoom you in pool still happening but nowhere near like it was the other night so, looking good. Robert, what are you saying that we need now? A golf cart so we can bring it to our parks with us. <laughs> Just throw it and roll it in the bed of the truck. And then then we'll have to get us. the, the uh, bike rack for the back of the yeah. RV. Get the ramps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, he, he doesn't want the standard golf cart. Whoops, you're too zoomed out, zoomed in. He wants, oh look, that one has plates. You could take that one on the road. This is what he wants. 
It's got a light bar. It's got the big tires. It's got a plate, headlights, easy go. Okay. Oh, look at this. Just take this to the airport. Got the 255 AC. Well, in Texas, 275 AC. Yeah, it probably does flip up. It does flip up into a chair. There you go, Robert. You can have this one. Because we were looking at prices and they were like $6,700 for like the basic one. I was like, tell them what you said. I, I've had many cars that are significantly cheaper than that. Yes. So it's like, yeah. <laughs> Look, my first car was 500 bucks. <laughs> Datsun 210, 310. Datsun 310, mm -hmm. 1980 Datsun 310. On the ship. Yes, uh, that was the truck. Uh, the truck. I had a 1973 uh, Ford F-150 uh, three-speed on the column. It took my entire, I had to literally stand on the clutch to change the gears because I was tiny. <laughs> so, <laughs> couldn't get it to shift. Get it to shift. <laughs> I have shown you guys these every time we've camped here. I have two here, two over there, and two here. I don't recommend these shepherd's hooks. Um, they're not very heavy duty. And when the ground is dry or hard, they tend to bend. So, but, um, so I'm gonna look for some different ones. I'd actually like some that are not so tall. So a little closer to the ground, but I love them. They're not inexpensive, but they're not the most expensive. But I will tell you, I have bought the inexpensive ones and they just, they don't last and they fall apart and then they end up not working and you have to replace the batteries in them very quickly and then it's expensive. So, um, yeah, so I just love them. So it's been such a lovely evening. So, um, we'll see you in the morning. I always, will, I'll show you driving home in this same vlog. Otherwise it's kind of a weird vlog where it's just us driving home that's even more boring so anyway so uh, we'll take a look at the waving corn not the waving wheat which sure smells sweet and the wind comes whipping down the lane and when we say a yip -a -yo -a yay okay enough of that <laughs> that was from Oklahoma by the way <laughs> even though we're in Texas isn't that just I just love it I love farm country I love hill country I love anything non-city but then I like small towns but then I love cities I, I think I just love different places I, I don't know just love it all and this is absolutely gorgeous and it's a, oh it's just a gorgeous evening I can't get enough of it and yes we are downwind of the trash this evening <laughs> that has been noticed <laughs> that's all right again this is a great spot if you have a family if you're coming here with a big group you could all gather at this spot. We're at spot 255 and it is awesome. So we will see you in the morning, you guys.